Hello, hello, this is Koi from Ray of Gratitude, aka Light Bright here, giving you guys a peace of mind to at least that one person at a time, and I know that one person is you. Um, for those that don't know me, I help people. <laughs> I help people heal through the creative blocks and give them strength towards trusting themselves, trusting their intuition, and trusting their creativity. Um, I do have one-on-one -on -one coaching that is available that if you would like to know how and what I do, um, you can check out my website below. I definitely do help people transform their situations of stagnant energy, as well as um, just any victimhood that may still be within your energy, still be within your mind, in your heart that's not really feeling aligned to where you're trying to go and meet your goals i help you formulate and um a creative process to really highlight your unique gifts and talents your god-given talents to help you co-create and feel more purposeful in the things that you do um, in your creations and um, what else do I do? I also help people make cards. Uh, there's a one-on-one -on -one coaching session that allows you to um, find your goals and help you with your soul care practices by building your own card deck, your affirmation card deck. And um, one last thing, I do have open personal readings. So right now we're going to get into just this general message here, words of encouragement um, from my own cards that I've created. And guess what, y'all? Those that are here, you are with me celebrating the fact that I created two more card decks. I just created two more and I can't wait to show y'all. They will be coming in the mail um, probably like within two weeks. So I can't wait to show you all. I'm redoing this. I keep saying that, but you'll see it. But this is my, this is where it all started. So let's get into the message, all right? Let's see what we have here. What soul care practice? Or what does your soul need to hear right now, honestly? Okay. And this is a message for anyone, generally, whenever you pick this. I hope that this resonates with you and allows you to self-reflect see any truth or um, just deeper understanding within yourself or what your soul is going through right now. Get two cards out here. So the first one says, why are you procrastinating? So procrastination a lot of times gets deemed as being lazy, you know, but it's really that stagnant energy. And a lot of times it's even more. It, it defines that you're being overwhelmed with what you're trying to do you know you may be unsure of where to start hey it's nothing wrong with not knowing what to do right and then sometimes we're just freaking unmotivated but for me i feel like um stagnant energy rules a lot with procrastination and anxious energy rules a lot with procrastination <laughs> it doesn't rule why am i saying that but it, it does go hand in hand here right it goes hand in hand is that in camera yes it is so we have the best don't stick around when you treat them poorly the desperate do i feel like for some of you guys that you might feel like time is running out or time is moving too slow and um because of that you're becoming overwhelmed um and you might not even recognize that you don't really know the best way to start. You know, perfectionism might be sitting, settling in your stomach, <laughs> settling in your mind. And it's causing you to connect with people that aren't really going to help you level up, aren't going to really help you connect um, with those goals. Um, you know, you might be asking, it's kind of like asking a pediatrician that deals with kids all the time um, how to heal you know, a foot when you're 60 something years old, you know, it doesn't really, doesn't really click that way. They may know, but that's not their expertise. You know what I mean? So sometimes out of desperation, sometimes out of anxiousness, sometimes out of overwhelmment, we don't hear our own thoughts. 
we're stuck in these beliefs that really don't serve us anymore. They definitely don't align with where we're trying to go with our goals. And, um, you know, we sometimes don't really, the self-reflection is lost. So therefore it's like, all right, I'm acting out of desperate um, despair. You know, I'm acting out of that. Or I'm, I'm, I'm being around people that are keeping me feeling comfortable you know, and not really helping me level up or not really allowing me the space to grow and do my own thing. You know, um, I was speaking to somebody the other day and they were talking about how their mom just constantly wants to help and then they get mad when they do it themselves. Now, to me, that kind of looks like codependency. That kind of looks like projection. That kind of looks like, um, I mean, not in her case, but it can also look like gaslighting, you know, and it could be multiple reasons, you know, it could be because, you know, someone's jealous, someone doesn't want them to level up, or it could just mean that like they're really um, so much in their own despair and so much with their own trauma and hurt that they feel that um, helping someone else can make them feel good and that kind of plays into like a cycle of honestly like addiction that's why I'm um kind of pairing it with codependency I'm not 100% sure if that is codependency but I think it is <laughs> I'm hearing it is <laughs> and um you know I I feel like we've all been here but to to what degree right because a lot of times when I'm feeling a certain way you know or if I'm just feeling like in a negative vibe Sometimes I don't want to look at it. You know, I'm human. Sometimes I'm not like, oh, let's just see what this emotion is. Let's feel it on out. Come on. Like, no, sometimes I'm not doing that, you know, and I feel like I have the prerogative to do that. But I do know that um, I give myself a certain amount of time where it's like, because my spirit won't let me not see it anyway. Like, dude, I've came too far to a point where it's like, all right, I have to address this. You know, I, I can't um, walk around blind anymore because my soul doesn't allow that. My spirit doesn't allow that anymore. You know, um, I can't unsee the things that I know now that I didn't know back then. And some people um, just aren't really aware or don't want to be aware. And they're choosing that out of their free will to just not look at certain things and stay in their trauma, stay in their hurt, stay in their despair. And, um, you know, they project that on others in certain ways. And sometimes it's through helping people, but it's really not helping anybody. You know, this is kind of keeping both people stagnant. So I don't know if that's resonating for anybody that just came through right there. But I wanted to share that because um, a friend of mine was talking about it and I just was like, oh, but see, this is where they wanted help with setting boundaries, you know, and setting boundaries definitely was needed and definitely needs that. And I'm flipping this one over because um, live more with intention and purpose, not careless actions. The person that was asking me, they want to live more with purpose. And they're finding ways to make their creations more intentionful. Um, that is not a word. <laughs> but to act with intentions while they're creating and being aware and mindful, right? And... Um, they, they want to level up. They want to change things because they know things aren't right. And they sometimes feel, you know, bad when they have to say no. But they know that that's not helping them grow neither, right? So it kind of can put people in, a, in between a rock and a hard place. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, it comes a choice where you have to make where it's like, all right, am I going to level up or am I going to sit here in this um, energy, right? And you can do both. <laughs> I feel like you can do both, but you can't do both when it's time for you to make that change though. You know, you can sit in that energy. You can explore that energy until you understand um, the best way for you to move. Once you understand the best way to move, you got to move, you know, and you got to really start walking in faith and trusting the fact that, okay, this is not where I want to be, but that is where I want to be. And what do I need to do to get there? Right. 
and being in despair is not going to help anybody. Whether someone's projecting that dis despair energy or just like, you know, clinging on to you so tight, not allowing you to spread your wings, um, you're going to have to stand up and say, um, let me go. I have to spread my wings. Or you can stick around and um, be in the energy with people that don't really see your value or want to appreciate your value, you know? So um, that's my message, y'all, okay? Um, I hope that you like this. Please like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. These are just some little mini messages to help you encourage you to help you stay focused to help you um just self-reflect and most definitely resonate so you can move forward and if you feel in the vibe please subscribe there's plenty of more where that comes from if you're really looking forward to grow into your um, creativity expand your creativity and start trusting the um intuitive um nudges that you get to um, act on your creativity, definitely check out the links below because I love doing that. I love helping people. And again, like I said, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one sessions. I also have um, other services that aren't so much committed to um, my one-on-one -on -one sessions. So um, yeah, check that out. And I also have tools that you can do your own thing and um, tap into your own energy with your self-help in your self-development journey. Until next time, I'm out of y'all. Peace.